Hi guys! Hi! We're back at Epcot! Yay! To do what, Brennan? Eat food! We're here to eat some food! <laughs> we're here around 6.30 right now, and we're gonna stay until it's dark because as of a few days from now, that is not gonna be an option anymore because the park hours are changing across the entirety of Walt Disney World, mm -hmm. and you're not gonna be able to be in a park past sundown. So <laughs> let's take advantage of it. Let's see Epcot at night and eat some food. And we'll start on the Mexico side this time. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty quiet heading into Epcot. Currently here are the crystal prisms. That's what I wanted to call them. I have no idea what they're actually called, but it's a glass statue here that's going to be on the fountain that's going to be right in front of Spaceship Earth. And hopefully it'll be done at some point. That'll be really nice to fully open up this area. I'm excited for it. I think I definitely took it for granted how easy it was just to walk through the center of Epcot to get to the World Showcase because now we have to walk all the way through either this side of Epcot or the other side of Epcot. This is going to be, oh shoot, what is it? World Nature? And then World Discovery over on the other side? Just to get to the World Showcase. It's a lot of effort. That is something I'm having to re-educate myself on because it's been so long. So Future World West is going to be rethemed as World Nature. Future World East is going to be World Discovery. This center part right over here and through the entrance of Epcot is going to be World Celebration and then the World Showcase. So it's going to be four neighborhoods unless the plans have changed here at some point. But there's still a lot of construction and a lot of work that needs to be done at Epcot. But are you ready to get some food, Brennan? Yes. So we are heading over to Mexico like Brennan wanted to to start the festival. Looks like some of these booths are closed, which is interesting. But I do have these. These are from previous festivals, the well, Flower I'm Garden Festival everyone. and, wow that's these loud, the Festival of the Arts. I want to see if there's still any balance on here, because if there is, I'm going to use them. So Brennan's first stop is going to be in Mexico to get this pork tostada with a fried corn tortilla and chipotle black beans, roasted pork, fresh salsa verde onions, and cilantro. And there she is right over there. And here she comes. Here she comes. Look at that. Hey. That looks really good. I hope it is. I got the ribeye taco my first trip here, I'm pretty positive, And I was really debating between that and this. Yeah. This definitely does look good too. <laughs> here it is, that first bite. Mm, that's really good. <laughs> is it good? Man, I wish I had gotten that the first time. I don't know, your ribeye one looks really good though. It was good, but the black beans on this, those look really good. Sabrina was nice enough to give me a tiny little bite of her little taco. Which one was better? I think that one was better. Yeah? Honestly, I don't entirely remember the other one. They were both fine in their own way, but I think I enjoyed that one just a little bit more. They were both pretty pricey though. Yeah, well, but it hit the spot though. So we just passed by Norway. This is the first time that I haven't seen the Frozen Ever After line extending all the way outside. So we may actually do that at some point later on tonight. Not really sure, but Brennan just stopped by China to get this Magnolian beef bao bun. So I lied, Brennan got the chicken dumplings. There was two here, but Brennan got super excited and had one already. Was it good? <laughs> mm -hmm. Awesome. You're eating all the food. I need to, need to decide on something. I'm just being really picky today. I'm only eating two things. <laughs> also, I just came off of work and I'm really hungry. <laughs> I don't blame you. One of the benefits of this time is absolutely the empty pavilions. You can get some pretty incredible pictures probably right now with nobody in them whatsoever. But we're heading deeper into the World Showcase, and I actually am going to get some food today. Imagine that. And that is going to be over here at Africa. I am going to get the skewered shrimp, the piri piri skewered shrimp served with citrus scented couscous. And I finally said that word right. Yay, me. Which word? Couscous. Oh, you couldn't say it before? No. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm sorry. So actually, I'm not going to be getting anything back at the booth because I probably spent about a good five minutes there trying to pay for that shrimp skewer, but. <laughs> I guess the credit card system was malfunctioning, so it didn't happen. I tried all of my credit cards and it just wouldn't work. So I kind of awkwardly had to be like, okay, I'm good. Have a good night. So I didn't get my skewer, but I'm going to get something at this festival. Darn it. And hopefully it's going to be here at Italy because I'm getting this margarita pizza flatbread right here. And Brennan's going to get the La Classica right there. So hooray. And here it is, my margarita pizza, which just pretty much looks like regular cheese pizza and then there's Brennan's La Classica. That looks phenomenal. Yeah. I feel like you were kind of experiencing a grass is greener experience right now because when I saw yours I was like ooh and when you saw mine you were like ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so here goes Brennan's first bites. Mmm, oh good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That bacon on there. The that cheese? looks like it's gonna fill you up pretty well. The cheese kind of tastes like just straight up cheddar cheese. It might be. Hmm. 
So I've invested in the tiniest, cutest little hand sanitizer boop, boop. for these little theme park excursions. Okay, time to eat this pizza. Somewhere that we've never eaten that we absolutely need to eat at is Viennapoli. <laughs> I don't know how to put pizza in my mouth, apparently. Mmm. <laughs> mm. good? Very pleasant. Nice. Very mild, not super cheesy, but like just the perfect amount. The sun is starting to set here at Epcot and it is getting beautiful. I am 100% gonna miss nighttime here at Epcot. Hopefully this will only be short-lived, relatively, hopefully. What? The park hour situation. Oh, yeah. Because, I don't know, I love nighttime at Disney. <laughs> when we said the next time that we came to Epcot we were gonna eat at Regal Eagle. We're liars! Ah! <laughs> we just wanted festival food. We're gonna come back. Regal Eagle is just that good. I think I'm gonna stop here at the American Adventure. Mm, I'm really tempted to get the carrot cake, but at the same time, I kind of want savory foods tonight. Brennan's running to get herself a little cup of water, and I think I'm gonna splurge on myself today by getting that New England lobster roll. So Brennan, I said you were gonna go get some water, and you've made <laughs> me out to be a silly goose. I was going to get water, but this looked really good. I actually got this on opening day, so it's just like pomegranate juice, sparkling water, and like strawberry flavoring or something. It looks good. Yeah. And what did you get? So I got the New England lobster roll, Ooh. and there's actually a little bit of a story with it because oh. I, I've i been trying to use these, these gift cards, the remaining balance that are on them, and I wasn't able to use them over in Africa at all. And then I was able to use one of them back in Italy, worked just fine, and then I went over there, and I scanned one and it worked, and then I scanned the other one, and it froze the computer. Oh so, my gosh! Because it, 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 it froze the computer, I guess it messed up their system. You're so having they, the worst look. They gave this to me complimentary. What? Yeah, so that was- You're a bad guy! Lucky. No, I didn't ask for it or anything like that. <laughs> I don't know if, if this is actually causing those issues or if I'm just being followed around by that little dark cloud, but yeah. I don't know. There's some I Disney mean, magic that you can occasionally get here, which is really awesome. I do want to figure this out because I want to see how much I do have left on here because I think it did use part of one of the balances if it did freeze the computer, so I don't really know. So yeah. I paid for some of this, I, I think. do want to wonder, like, I do wonder why that happened, but... Yeah, huh? I guess I can take this off now. Okay. So this was phenomenal. I'm pretty positive that I've gotten this before, right? Oh, yeah. Mm. I heard, like, you know a good lobster roll when you can just hear the crunch of the bread? This bread is perfect. Mm. Uh, I'm jealous. So right now the Jammeters are playing in the America Gardens Theater. We made it over to Japan. Don't think we're going to get anything here. I think I'd like to try to get something... I was thinking about it, but I think I'm feeling something sweet. Yeah, we're passing by Brazil, and surprise, surprise, Brennan is getting in line for the Brazilian cheese bread. And again, it's very good though, so it's a good idea. And here she is with her Brazilian cheese bread. Uh, mine's like connected. It's one giant bosom. <laughs> <laughs> that looks a little bit different than the last time you got it, doesn't it? It looks like a little um, browned on the outside, but... It's I've... on the inside that matters, right? Oh yeah, I've had them browned on the outside before and they actually turn out to be really good. It's good? always so good. Okay, I'm a little bit surprised by how brown they were. They're actually better this way. Really? They look uglier, taste better. And yet again, here's a nice look at the sunset around Epcot. It's about almost 8 o'clock now, so the park's going to be closed in about an hour. I'm going to miss this sight. Hopefully it's going to be short-lived, but I'm still going to miss it. I think I'm going to miss the lights around all of the various pavilions the most, and just how this entire park comes to life at night. It's just beautiful. The sun's probably going to be set in about 15 minutes or so, based on the backlit silhouette of the Skyliner back there. Wow. All right, I think, Brennan, I think you said you're done for the evening, right, on food? Oh yeah, that cheesy bread did it in for me. Right? I think I still need to try to find one thing, maybe something sweet, but you know what I could want? be surprised. What? You know what you want? Nope. Okay. All right, and I've decided what to get. It's going to be here in France, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but it's going to be the brioche cake filled with light pastry cream and served with raspberry coulis. So that sounds pretty good as my final uh, edible food of the festival today. All right, what'd you get? So. I already forgot. This is the brioche cake with the raspberry coulis. 
right there. You can kind of see it. It looks like a <laughs> cheeseburger. It, it is. With like sesame seeds. Yeah, but it's probably, I hope it's sweet. It's funny, so I was able to use, these are now zeroed out completely. Good. But it did print out about 20 receipts. Oh my god. So I almost broke that computer too, apparently. But what is going on this year? I don't even know. All right, I'm dipping it in raspberry. Mmm. It's like a macron. Ooh. Almost. Is it nice? It is. It's like, it's got a cold filling in there and that is sugar on the top. Mmm. That is lovely. <laughs> so now we're heading across the English Channel over to England. I'm pretty positive that we are both satisfied for the evening. Are you good? I'm good. Did you have a good trip to Epcot? I did. This was nice. Do you want to ride Frozen Ever After or Spaceshipper? Let's ride Spaceshipper. Okay. See, so this is what I'm talking about when it comes to what I'm going to miss about nighttime at Epcot, especially right now with these super low crowds it just looks beautiful if there's any positive side to the parks closing earlier it's that my new camera doesn't necessarily do low light as well as this camera does because it has a higher aperture so i suppose that's a good thing considering the parks are closing earlier so i don't really need to worry about that so we just stopped off at starbucks on the way out of the park and got ourselves a venti water and i used to laugh at you when they spelled your name wrong <laughs> and i'm roy apparently where I believe those rumors that Starbucks spells your name wrong on purpose so that you'll advertise it on social media. Well, here it is, YouTube Starbucks. <laughs> so we are heading over to Spaceship Earth to do that on the way out of the park, just in case, because you really never know when they're going to close it for the refurbishment or if they are at all, but you haven't done it in a long time. So that's what we're going to do on the way out of the park. Also, oh, yeah. they do have... <laughs> what? I was, I was about to have a tangent into another topic of well, conversation. You didn't stop and take a break for me to have my own tangent. Well, then what do you have to say that's so I was important? I going to say, I didn't realize that the last time I rode Spaceship Earth was going to be my last time, and then suddenly it wasn't. So now I really never know when my last time riding Spaceship Earth is going to be. There you go. That's what she had to say that was Whatever. so important. What I was going to say is that they do have a lot of these booths that are still not open, that presumably will be at some point. That wasn't really more important than what she had to say, but it's the OIB channel. You know, speaking of the OIB channel, Something that I've noticed is that I don't really advertise myself on here a lot in the sense of I don't say that my name is Roy very often at all. And it, the channel name is called Oibi, and I talk to Brennan a lot, but Hi, for those me. of you that just joined the channel, do you know who I am? Because my name is Roy and it's a pleasure to meet you. And it's not with an I, it's with a Y. Yep. And there it is, Spaceship Earth lit up one last time for us to enjoy. We're gonna go ride this and then head on out of the park. It's incredible just how quiet it is. 30 minutes before the park closes, no fireworks. This park would be overrun with people right now if it was a normal night. And here we go, heading into Spaceship Earth so Brennan can ride it. This is gonna be a nice way to end our trip to Epcot today. And we just got off of Spaceship Earth. I decided not to film it this time because sometimes you just gotta enjoy rides instead of vicariously through the camera, right Brennan? Isn't this really awkward how empty and quiet it is in here? Yes, yeah, it's really eerie in here. So now we are heading back to the parking lot. The park is still open for about five more minutes or so, but it is very, very empty right now. So there was our final nighttime trip to Epcot, at least for a little bit until the park extends the hours again, or it starts to get darker a little bit earlier, whichever one comes first, but I'm gonna miss the nighttime atmosphere at all of the parks. I, I do believe that there's a different environment and feel to the parks at nighttime compared to the daytime but we just gotta do what we can right now. Mm -hmm. And I think today we had an incredible trip to you on today. Yeah. Was, was there a favorite food that you had? Um, I like the dumplings from China, but I had a bite of your dessert in France. That was really good. It was very cheap and surprisingly, not really surprisingly, it was really good. Honestly, it took a little while to get, but I think my favorite tonight was probably the lobster roll. I do always love a good lobster roll. Everything was great. And I'm excited to come back again and just get what we haven't gotten so far. We still have quite a few more weeks of the Food and Wine Festival going on this year. So we'll be back hopefully once, where is it, wherever it is back there, the, uh, the, the, I don't even know what they call it, the prisms? I guess so. At some point, whenever that fountain opens back up, it'll be cool to see this entire area completely done. But we'll see you later. Thank you for hanging out with us. Have a good night and goodbye.